This question is study figure one on the insert, a map showing the world distribution of volcanoes. Describe the world distribution of volcanoes, three marks. So again, three mark question, just spending three minutes on it. Study figure one means actually look at the insert and make sure that you've got the right figure for the question that you are answering. Describe means say what you see. The answer will be in the map that you're looking at. When you are looking at a map, you need to look at the actual map and the key alongside it to make sure you understand what is being shown on the map. Going back to the question, describe the world distribution of volcanoes. Underline any words that you feel uncomfortable about or you're not sure, like distribution. Distribution is just another word for the spread. Where are volcanoes located? Whereabouts are they in the world? When you have this type of question, you must always look for patterns and trends and any unusual anomalies. I'm going to mark the answers onto this map so you can see how I've answered this question. Volcanoes are generally found at plate boundaries. Plate boundaries are the edges where plates meet. They occur in long, narrow belts, as you can see where my pen is marking round, such as the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. I'm using actual data from the map to support my answer. So it proves to the geographer that I am using and I have studied that source. The Mid-Atlantic Ridge is where the Eurasian Plate and the North American Plate pull apart. Another big bout is round the Pacific Ocean, also known as the Ring of Fire. An anomaly is Hawaii, which occurs in the centre of the Pacific plate, away from plate boundaries. Anomaly is another word for something that is the exception or is unusual or does not fit the usual pattern. As always, you need to reread your answer to make sure that you have three good points, that you have used evidence from the source and your own knowledge to make sure that you have described where you will find volcanoes.